Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Cabinet on the 11th of August. So we'll start off with apologies for absence. Uh, Councillor Farrell is stuck in traffic, he's on his way here, uh, but he's unlikely to make it, he's stationary on the motorway, so we'll take his apologies for that. Uh, item two, minutes of the previous meeting, your wish I sign those to record. Yes. Councillor Summers moves, Councillor Pritchard second. All those in favour? That's carried, thank you very much. Uh, decorations of interest. Are there any decorations of interest? I'm not aware of any. No. Excellent. Uh, moving on to question uh, item four, which is question time. And this time, I believe we've not received any questions uh, from members of the public. So we'll move on to item five, which are matters referred to the Cabinet in accordance with overview and scrutiny procedure rules. Uh, at this time, we have a recommendation from Health and Wellbeing. And in the absence of the Chair, we have the Vice Chair. So, Councillor Maycock, would you like to introduce this item? Uh, thank you, Chair. So, tonight's recommendations are from the uh, meeting which uh, took place on the 12th of July of the Health and Wellbeing Scrutiny Committee. Uh, there was a report given by the Assistant Director uh, which provided an overview of the four priorities set out in the housing strategy. Uh, in general, the committee welcomed the report and found uh, that it was um, a good strategy, although there were some recommendations which we'd like to bring to yourselves this evening. Uh, the committee commented and saw, uh, excuse me. So the first recommendation it is recommended to Cabinet that a biannual report be prepared by officers for presentation to the Health and Wellbeing Scrutiny Committee every six months setting out performance metrics relating to each action plan for the four priorities in the housing strategy, including data over a three-year period. Number two, a presentation to be prepared for consideration by the Health and Wellbeing Scrutiny Committee regarding the delivery of the Council's climate change agenda in terms of the Council's housing stock and the impact on vulnerable Tamworth residents. Recommendation three, it's recommended to Cabinet that consideration be given in the development of the criteria for first homes for the 20% discount to market price on the initial purchase being continued in subsequent resales where possible. So like any questions, please, Chair. Okay. Thank you, Councillor Maycock. Does anybody have any questions or comments on the presentation from Scrutiny? No. Uh, in that case, uh, what I was going to do was suggest that uh, uh, thank you for coming this evening, uh, Councillor Maycock. Uh, suggest that with regards to recommendation one, uh, what we actually do is, uh, is, is agree to that uh, and report that back. Uh, rather than twice a year, uh, we can report back four times a year on that one. Uh, so, so we accept the recommendation with a four, a four times a year reporting back. Um, in terms of uh, recommendation two, a presentation be prepared for consideration for uh, for the health and wellbeing scrutiny regarding the delivery of the council's climate change agenda um, that can be done as part of the normal scrutiny process so we can get officers to uh, to, to scrutiny to uh, to pull that together uh, and in terms of the third one uh, recommend that cabinet consider the development of criteria for first homes uh, for the 20 percent discount to market price on the initial purchase be continued in subsequent resales where possible uh, happy to do some more work and feedback on that uh, so, so we, could, we can take that on board for some future thought, uh, but also I would suggest that with the local plan going out to consultation in the next couple of months, uh, it may be worth the Health and Wellbeing Scrutiny Committee looking at the, at the local plan uh, options paper, uh, which covers uh, affordable housing and the breakdown of, uh, uh, the breakdown of affordable housing on, on development schemes, uh, and, and whether we've got that measurement right, so that will fit hand in glove uh, with the recommendation three. Uh, so I'm happy uh, to move those three items uh, as they are, uh, the four times a year for the first one, uh, we accept that. Officers per produce a, a report, as would normally be the case with the climate change stuff, uh, and then we take that on board uh, to do some consideration and ask scrutiny to consider looking at, the lo looking at the local plan in relation to the housing elements and, and the Health and Wellbeing Committee. Move those. Thanks. Councillor Prichard seconds. All those in favour? Okay, that is carried. So thank you very much, and thank you, Councillor Maycock. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. 
and we'd like to welcome Councillor Farrell to the meeting. Apologies about the shorts and apologies for being late. One of those days. Sorry, Chair, I'm afraid to go. Uh, yes, you are free to go, Councillor Mako. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure why you look so pleased that you can go. <laughs> okay, so we're moving on to agenda item six, and this is the application for an increase in the prescribed Hackney carriage fares rates. Councillor Summers. Thank you. Um, of course, as you most of the detail is in the report on, on specific tariff increases, but uh, essentially Tamworth Hackney Carriage and Private Hire Association, of which I believe uh, over half of the uh, Hackneys uh, in Tamworth are, are members of, have applied for an increase in the prescribed Hackney Carriage fare rates as detailed in Appendix 1. And they haven't had an increase since December 2017. So as you can imagine, uh, prices of uh, fuels uh, are going up uh, exponentially uh, since then. And due to go up even more, uh, they are on a bit of a downward trend, but still um, since 2017, uh, quite, a, quite a bit more than they were. So um, it, it is essentially uh, them asking for an increase. Uh, it has been through the licensing committee um, who have uh, passed it on to us, having scrutinised it. Uh, if there are any particular questions, happy to take them, but also Wendy Smith, Head of Environmental Health, is here as well to rescue me should I not know the answers. Mm -hmm. So um, over to my colleagues for questions, if there are any. Thank you, Councillor Summers. Does anybody have any questions on the report? No, there are no questions, Councillor Summers, so would you like to move the recommend? Oh, sorry, uh, uh, Councillor Doyle. Not so much a question, but a comment. Um, given the recent financial issues that we say ourselves face with, I can't see how we could reject this. And it's unfortunate on residents who will have to pay the difference, but unfortunately the taxi drivers have to put fuel in the car and insure the vehicles and that, so I'm all in favour of this one. Thank you. If nobody else has anything to say, yes, um, as you say, it's, um, it, it is kind of a no-brainer. We can't refuse it. I mean, our taxi drivers are hard-working. We want to incentivise them to, to providing more availability within Tamworth. And, uh, and if, if we refused it, it would decrease availability, is my thinking. So um, I'm happy to move the recommendations in the report. Looking for a seconder. A second. You already have that. I haven't moved them yet, but thank you. <laughs> okay, um, so we're moving a second. Right, I'm not sure who who seconded. There was a, a couple of people. Was it Councillor Doyle? It was Councillor Doyle. Okay, it's been proposed by Councillor Summers and seconded by Councillor Doyle. I think the uh, the points I was going to raise have been covered by Councillor Doyle uh, and Councillor Summers. Uh, and I think if we if it, if it wasn't up to us. Uh, and taxi drivers, like everyone else, would, would adjust their rates because their costs have gone up. So it, it seems to make perfect sense. Um, so, yeah, moving seconded, all those in favour? Okay, that is carried. So that concludes the business this evening. So thank you, everybody, for your input, and I wish you a safe and cool journey home. Thank you.